Welcome to this JMC Week webinar. It's November 1st, 2023. Summer Conference New Feature Review, Round 2. Welcome, my name is Paul Freed. I've been a trainer with JMC for 18 years. I live in a small farm here in southeastern Minnesota in Lake City, which is the hub of JMC, even though we are all throughout the United States. It's a blustery cold day here. We've gone from fall to winter quickly with snow on the ground. I'm joined by the wonderful Jody Schott. Jody, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, everybody. I am Jody, and I live up in the Brainerd Lakes area, and I have been with uh, JMC for about a year. And prior to that, I was an office manager for a small charter school in Cross Lake for 21 years. That's awesome. And Jody and I got to present at the summer conference these uh, new features. So here we go, full of new features for 23-24 part two. In summer conference, new feature review round two, we're introducing exciting features like the meal and data management tools, along with new messaging and wellness features, including alerts for dropped students in the medication log. Today, we'll explore these features and learn how to utilize scheduled low balance notice functionality. Please hold all your questions until the Q&A session at the end of each section. If you do need to communicate with myself or Jody, feel free to use the Q&A chat feature in your webinar toolbar. And you can actually type them in at any point. We just don't usually get to them until we get to that Q&A item there as well. So Jody, you wanna read the slides and I'll kind of do the, the commentary. Does that sound good in the live looks? That sounds perfect. All let's right, let's get started. It. I'll start so with- So we're gonna, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll do the titles and you can go from there. So new feature alert. Okay. Educators have access to email all teachers of a student. Teachers needed a quick way to communicate with all other teachers of a given student, whether the need arises. Creating individual messages to each teacher is time consuming and can be prohibitive. The blue information I icon on the assignment scores and enter attendance page contains all sorts of great information, including the email all students of this student link that allows teachers to email all other teachers on a student's schedule. So this is a really great feature. It's, it's in the JMC teacher. There's an I next to each student's name on the assignment score screen. They can click on it. That's how they can look up student or parent contact information, their emails. And right here at the bottom now is the email all teachers of the student. This is also available in the office. It's been the office for a few years um, under the edit schedule screen. And I think the view student data screen as well. So I'm a big fan of this. It's a great way to communicate uh, within a school. All right, new feature alert. Send messages to multiple bus routes. Inclement weather, driver shortages, or other issues might require office staff to make quick communication with families regarding transportation. The new, new multi-select feature in Message Center allows users to select multiple bus routes at once to send messages informing families that rely on school transportation of any issues that pop. Yeah, this is cool. You know, before you could only choose one bus uh, route, but now if there's multiple buses that are having the same issue or whatever you want to alert them to, you can uh, put them in there. Um, you can even choose all your buses at that time as well. So that's a cool function. And I will, um, you know, what? I'm going to show that one right away because that one's uh, pretty cool. So on, it's kind of, it's, it's easier to show than explain. So under message center, down to send messages here. If I do by route bus number, a little box appears there. If I click in it, it shows me all the different ones there. So we're gonna do bus 14A, we're gonna do bus 17, and we're gonna do bus 15. And I could send that message now there. Now somebody said, well, what if I wanna send a message to every, all the students um, you know, about busing information? Well, I wouldn't then do it. I wouldn't choose all your route bus numbers, although you could. In that situation, I would typically come by grade level and just send it from you know all my kindergartners to my eighth graders or be because you know the vast majority of those ride the bus you can even put in the message hey this is a message for all bus riders um, so either way works whatever is the most efficient for you um all right and then i think we get to that that, that messaging tools yep so i'll actually show the jmc teacher one as well um you know i i always tell administrative folks and folks who work in the office right that you know it, Teachers have a hard time keeping up to date on all the things that are oops that are new in JMC, right? And so you sometimes have to kind of encourage them, right? So if they reach out and say, "Well, how do I email all the teachers, or how do I, you know, work within the school in this situation?" You can say, "Hey, we've got a great feature here. JMC just showed it to us. That's under the scores, down to the assignment score screen, and it's that I next to a student's name. So if I click here, 
on Francis, that I there, it's going to have that link underneath his schedule. So here's his schedule. Email all teachers of the student. You click on this. It works just like it does in the office. All the teachers will be listed there. I only have one because it's just a demo school, but all the teachers will be listed. Their names, you don't have their email addresses. They're in there and you can send that information. And we put in the subject area, the name of the student. That was an update we made a few years ago on the office side too. So you don't have to type in the student's name. You know that who you're on. So this is basically the same, um, same feature as on the view student data screen or the student edit schedule screen. There we go. It is the email all teachers the student. So great way to communicate in your school there. All righty, that is an easy one. All right, I don't see any questions that come in. We'll just keep rolling. If people have a question, they can let us know. But we've presented on these a few times, so I think we know a lot of the questions that come in. All right, new reports and data management tools. Reports, reports, reports. If there's one area we know you'd love to save time, it's with reports and data management. We develop new tools that will help save time on very important, but sometimes tedious data management tool tasks you face on a daily basis. So we have a new feature alert, search for students or contacts using a variety of data items. This one's cool. So there are many situations where you might need to identify a student by something other than a name or an ID number. Has someone called the school and left a phone number but no other information? Or maybe an awful smell is emanating from locker number 23. So the solution is now you can go to the view data, student data and edit contacts page now and have more ways to find students and contacts in your system based on the minimal information you might have to work from, including locker number, email address, phone number, and more. Yep, so that's pretty cool. And I'll show that a little bit in the live look as well. Keep on going. More ways to identify students and contacts leads to a quicker and more efficient searching, no matter what obstacle is standing in your way. That's right. All right, new feature alert, editable primary contact usernames. This one kind of rolled out. A lot of people still don't know that we have it, so I'm excited to show this one. So JMC automatically generates a, a JMC family username from the primary contact's last name, but some schools would like to avoid any confusion associated with multiple primary contacts sharing the, la the same last name. So the solution was to the username option. So office professionals can manually enter a unique username for any primary contact on the right contact right on the edit contacts page. So it's pretty cool. Then another feature alert, email AM PM attendance formats. But before I go that, let me just actually show these other ones because they kind of, they're very similar and we're talking about contact information. So I can come in and I can type in here, uh, I can type in, uh, let's see here if I've got, I'm trying to remember what those search criteria are. Um, if a person, it's not, this one is not the, uh, not the phone number. If I look at a locker number or something like that, I can come in here and I can type that locker number in there. So if I've got, a, I don't know what I've got in there for that. Um, it will bring up that locker, the students who have a certain locker number there with that search criteria. I like that one. It's it's pretty cool. Where I think it's actually really helpful is with the contacts because you know most people know contacts. Again, search by locker number. It's something you might do rarely. I really like the contact one here under attendance contacts to edit contacts where you can come in type in the phone number 651-345 here's all the kids people have 651-345 I put in 4654 that's the local number to JMC that's why there's lots of folks if I came here down to Dorothy Day here she's going to have 651-345-4654 so that's pretty cool if I search for I'm guessing I have my in here Paul at JMC there we go this is all the people that have my email address because then it's just a demo one so I'll put I'll put that in here. Here's dad demo. And here is Paul at jmcinc.com, right? So if I search for training, T-R-A-I-N-G, right? There we go. That's me, all the ones that have training, at least in the, probably in the email address, but it's really cool to be able to come and search for certain things. You know, lots of times a family will call up and say, my kid's sick today, please call me back. <clears throat> Six, five, one, three, four, five, blah, 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 whatever it is. And you don't know who that person is. You don't want to call back because obviously they think you recognize their voice. Well, you can use these search functions to find there. So the view student data page and the edit contacts page as well. All right. New feature alert. This is a small one, but I very much appreciate it. Email AM PM attendance letters. Schools that send attendance letters home would like to streamline communication and avoid that trip to the post office. So the solution was to email option for attendance letters. So 
Now you can email attendance letters directly from attendance and period attendance modules to save the money and time of printing letters, stuffing envelopes, and purchasing stamps. So if, if you don't know what our AM, PM attendance letters are, it's that in JMC office, um, you can create a template for period attendance absent tardy letters or absent AM, PM uh, absent letters, meaning or tardy letters. If a student misses three um, days and you want to send a letter home, you can set up that template and you can click print after choosing that three day absence for semester one form you created. And it will print a letter for each kid with whatever you want on there. And the second page lists all their absences and tardies. It's a huge time saver. So if you're somehow at your school doing absence and tardy letters outside of JMC, right? You're printing a report out of JMC, but then you're going in to Microsoft Word or Google Docs and you're copying and pasting information in there, student name and so on. You don't need to do that. You can use these attendance form letters. We've got a great video on doing attendance form letters on our YouTube channel that'll walk you through the process. There is a setup process. You're not gonna get it set up in 10 minutes. It's probably gonna take you a couple hours to do the first one. But once you get the first one set, it's pretty easy. Um, but for a long time, for, and for whatever reason, we only emailed the period attendance form letters. Meaning the ones that have said, hey, if a kid misses three periods or five periods, they've missed first period six times, whatever, um, those ones. We added in the ability to email now the, what we call the AM PM letters. That's actually the most common letter I think as more schools use this, meaning full day and half day attendance letters. So you can email them that way. If a kid misses three absences, that's what I have here, or five or 10, um, you can email them or print them, uh, whichever you want. If you check this email if possible, but not just here, but anywhere throughout the, the program, it will email it if possible. If it doesn't, it will print a paper. <laughs> so I love that one. All right, new feature alert, the multiple option to simplify period attendance track. If family members with multiple siblings were taking a vacation for multiple days, office professionals used to have to select students and individually mark the days each student is going to be absent with a reason. But now you can mark multiple students' absence at the same time. In the period attendance module, office pros can now select multiple students and or days when marking students' absence and quickly add a reason for the absence for several students at once. Yeah, I love this feature. Uh, I'll show you how to do it in the live look. I think it's, it's just a great feature. Just multiple, multiple students over multiple days. So you streamline the attendance taking, taking process when a known absence comes across your desk with the multiple option. So what happens is, and you might not even notice it yet, when you're on the period attendance data, edit attendance screen, you can choose multiple. And when you do that, you can hold down your control key or your command key if you're on a Mac or even your shift key and say, the Doyle family, I, if I held that my, uh, my shift key, I could do click, click, click. I would choose Faith, Jennifer, and Jim are going to be gone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday coming up here. They're all on a family vacation. And I would add that here. And that's going to mark all three of these kids gone all these days right here with the least amount of clicks possible. Um, it's also helpful, especially for sports teams, uh, especially for smaller ones. Um, you know, you've got, say you've got uh, the high school track team. You can mark them the whole activity of the boys and girls track team absent for the afternoon if they're gone on a meet, but maybe it's state and there's only six kids going. You could choose those six kids. You could control click or command click, 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 click those six kids. On this day, they're gone period five, six, and seven at a extracurricular activity. It is a really big time-saving feature. All right, new feature alert. Easily add active JMC teachers as an option for substitute teacher access. This is not out yet. We're gonna be rolling that out sometime this year, the 23-24 school year. With schools often leaning on existing st staff to cover classes during a colleague's absence, schools need a way to allow staff to access other teachers' JMC courses without having to add their credentials as a substitute teacher. So the solution was to include the teachers in the sub pool. JMC now automatically includes current JMC teachers in the substitute tool so teachers can quickly be granted access to attendance and gradebook tools for the teachers they are covering for. Yeah, that's a cool feature. So it's in testing. I mean, it just makes it easier to add substitute teachers. So a couple of items that I want to look at here, primarily the last two will start. And again, I don't think that I'm going to go here to um, uh, attendance down to contacts or no, to staff to substitutes. I don't think it's out yet. Let me just check and see. 
Uh, yeah, it's not. It will be out up here. We'll check a box if it's a JMC teacher and choose those as well. So that will be coming out. What I do love, and it's, this is probably one of my top five favorite features of JMC in the last year, pre-attendance, data, edit attendance, come in here, multiple. Let's say it's a hockey team, it's the girls hockey team. And Jenny's going, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a banquet or something like that. And so is, I'm gonna hold down my keynote man key. Kelly's going. And that's how you can see two of our shows there. And Sarah's going. And Claire's going. And let's choose one more here. And Sue is going. And they are going today. They're going to be gone periods six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to come here to extra connectivity. Click. Click. And because it's an auto save screen, that's all you have to do. Those students are marked gone today. Read six, seven, eight, because extra curricular. Love this feature. Easy to use. People will use it a lot for lots of different reasons there as well. So great. All right, no questions. So we'll keep on rolling here. All right, new collaboration tools. Go ahead, Jody. Collaboration is the foundation of a unified school community. The collaboration takes time, and time is something most schools and families don't have enough of. JMC's collaboration tools make it possible to involve multiple stakeholders through a streamlined process that saves time while still being effective. All right, new feature alert, JMC Family Online Registration Progress Reporting Filters. So the request was to simplify search for specific information. The progress report in JMC Family display a lot of useful information, but it might be overwhelming for parents looking for results from a specific term. So the solution was to filter info on the progress reports. We have added a filter to the progress reports page to allow families to filter results to the current term, reducing the amount of information visible and making it easier, easier to concentrate on the student's current progress. The update should help families and students focus on their current performance and goals. So, you know, this was actually out last spring, right? Um, we didn't develop this this summer, uh, but we've been constantly updating it and tweaking it a little bit to make sure that it's even easier to work. But the thing to note is, um, a lot of schools still aren't using it. So just to show you where it's at, it's under JMC Family, Online Registration, Progress Dashboard. So a couple of cool things. You can come here and say, hey, I wanna show only the families who have not signed all their forms. And it's gonna show you that. It, you should definitely, if you're, if you're the person that's communicating with families about their registration, you should come here and play with this screen. You can't really hurt anything on this screen. Um, it, it, you can check it out. So here's all the families that have not um, done that. You can also say, hey, I want all the families that have done that, but I've also have, and I'm making this up, of course, have a negative lunch balance, right? You can even see those folks. So you, you can really drill down. You can click on the column names to sort them. So who's got my lowest balance here? I'll click once, there we go. Eric Doyle has got the lowest balance, right? So all that information there. So you can see all this information. Then the other cool thing is that you can email either the families that have finished or not finished registration, but even more powerful, email the filtered families. All these families have a negative lunch balance and have not signed all their forms. You can say email filtered families. It's gonna bring up a dialog box, put your address in there. Uh, please finish your registration. Dear families, our records show you've not signed all your forms and you have a negative lunch balance, please do so on, blah, 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 whatever that might be. So that's pretty cool in that way. Another thing that I learned actually from a school, I learned this from a client, and I think that it's one of the coolest things that I've learned is you can actually, um, you can actually log into a family and you could just, you know, if you're a family member or somebody in the school, and you can go under the, say that register down to the sign forms and you can email them you could email them this link. So you could put that this email in that form and say, hey, please copy and paste this link in your web browser. And so when they, when they click on that, it will make them sign in. And then when they sign in, it won't take them to the homepage of their JMC parent portal. It'll actually take them right to this page. Um, you could do that with the low lunch balances. Hey, we see your lot balance is low. Copy and paste this link. It, it might even turn into a hyperlink. I don't remember. Um, you might have to test it out because uh, I, I haven't worked on it since last spring. Uh, but either way, they can copy and paste or it turns into a hyperlink and then they can go right to there. So you're not telling them to go here and click here and click here and click here. It takes them right to that point. So I think that's a pretty sweet feature there as well. 
oh, that's the live look. So that's the collaboration tools we have. Um, again, use this, um, use this dashboard here to just find exactly who you want and communicate with exactly who you want there as well. So it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. All right, we are rolling right along here. New classroom management tools. It's no secret that teachers' days are filled to capacity between creating lesson plans, attending meetings, grading assignments, communicating with families, and more. Teachers need time-saving tools for everyday processes. JMC developed classroom management tools to do just that, streamline the processes to alleviate stress. All right, new feature alert, JMC teacher attendance for days in cycle. So the request was for flexible classroom attendance view. Teachers in, the, in a situation where course does not meet every day, as in block scheduling, would like to view courses by the day on the classroom attendance page. This is also for your art teachers, right? Or your, your, any of your specialists who don't have it, the students five days a week, they have some students Monday, some Tuesday, same Wednesday, whatever it might be, that can be helpful. So the solution was the days in cycle option. The days in cycle drop-down list allows teachers to filter the course view for a specific day to narrow their day daily attendance only to only epical courses. Yeah, but I'm not going to show this to the JMC teacher. It's it's right here. It's this days in the cycle drop-down. And if you've got days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever it might be, this is a block schedule day, block day A, day B, whatever it might be, day one, day two, a four day, whatever, they can choose it. So any teacher can do that. So any teacher that has all the same classes every day, this doesn't really help them. But any teacher that has rotating list of students throughout the week, this will help them to say, hey, I'm on day B or I'm on Wednesday. Just show me the courses I have for this day. It's pretty cool. All right, new feature alert, expanded student list in JMC teacher. Teachers need a way to run reports on a student information stored in JMC for all the active students or only the students in their course. The solution was the new filter option. The student Student list report in JMC teacher is equipped with filter for include active students only, along with include my students only to help teachers achieve the specific report they're looking for. Yeah, so, you know, I'm a big fan of student lists in the office, right? It's a great feature. It's your data mining feature. Teachers have that as well. So I'm in the JMC teacher. Oops, I got to scroll down here. On that page too long. Here we go. Um, in the JMC teacher. Under reports, down to student lists. Um, you know, I'm not going to. I've got a, a whole video on teacher student lists. They can do their own birthday list. They can do their own labels, their own bus list, all that stuff right there. But right now we have it. So include my students or active students only. And so this is just a great way for them to filter, so they're not getting um, all the you know the students every time. So this is active students, everybody in the school. This is my students only. So just a great way for teachers to use it more efficiently there as well. Great. And that's the classroom management tool. You know, how would you as an office person tell your teachers to do this? Or when would you, when they are asking you to run reports for them? Say, hey, can you use the student list function for that? And that's that's what's going to be the most uh, the most helpful there as well. So, you know, um, we're actually to the news part here, Jody. Um, this wow. was the second part of our summer conference. You know, we really want to encourage folks to come to our summer conferences, right? Uh, this next year is going to be a really great one because we're going to be showing off the new look and feel. Actually, I was going to show that here. Um, the, the thing that we're rolling out, I think it's November 9th here, uh, 10th, something like that, whatever that Thursday or Friday of next week is. We're rolling out the new look and feel of JMC, but only in the community messenger module. But you will see one thing. This is one of the first sneak peeks. If you join this webinar, is you're going to see the new look and feel rolled out in our um, our main page. So here's the existing home page of JMC, right, with the modules. And now we've added modules in and new icons, and those are going to be listed just like this. So this is going to roll out sometime in the next two weeks. Doesn't change any of the functionality for you whatsoever, but I'm excited about that new look and feel. The first module we're rolling out is that um, the community messenger right here and that will have that first look and feel of the new login screen there as well so lots of exciting things happening we're gonna be rolling this out big time at the summer conference oh i don't have the, i don't i don't have it turned on for myself but that's right um it's it's going to be really great for you to be able to um uh, uh to, to to see it and to feel um, how we've improved the program look, not just the look, but also that functionality as well. But it, you don't need to be nervous because if you use JMC for even a year or more, the transition will be very easy. But where it's a slow rollout, so people can get used to it. But I'm 
really excited about this as well. So that's the big thing that we're working on for this year. All right. And maybe next year, Jody and I can present again on the new features. So join us at the summer conference because then you get to hear that information early and use these features as you start the school year. All right, JMC News and upcoming events. Since I don't see any questions, if you have a question, you can sure still type it in, but we're gonna roll to the end of this webinar. All right, we've got some upcoming webinars here next week. Uh, actually, tomorrow, we've got the new Wisconsin State Reporting New Feature Review for our Wisconsin schools. Next week, keeping on top of activity compliance. And then on the, um, we've got uh, the, the activity compliance report. Oh, I made a little mistake there, I apologize. And then the 15th, we have the new administrator workshop and introducing JMC's collaboration tools. Now through March, 2024, we're offering schools a discount to refer their friends. For every school you refer to JMC that signs up for us offer, We'll give you each a thousand dollar scholarship for your district. Questions? Email our sales team for more details. All right, calling all shared superintendents. Calling all shared superintendents now through March 31st, 2024. If you switch your second district to JMC, you get it free. Give our sales team a call at 800 524 extension 2, or email sales at jmcins.com. Interested in adding this community messenger to your uh, software plan? You can email sales and they'll get you up and running for 42 cents per kiddo. That is what we're gonna roll out next week. So I would say the next two weeks or so, that's when people would start to be able to access that module. So very excited about that. All right, do you have a new superintendent joining your district? Join us for the last webinar in our new administrator workshop series on November 15th by registering here. In session three, we'll dive into how eliminating third-party software streamlines your SIS, making it easier for you to navigate and better consolidate your spending. A few of the all-in-one solutions will be uh, explore, will explore our JMC's flex scheduler, absent tardy forms, and newest innovation, the community message center. And we're looking for a few JMC superstars. That's one of the things that Jody is. At almost every school, we find an unofficial JMC go-to person. This is the person colleagues contact if they have a quick question about a module. You may hear them sharing JMC tips and tricks with a colleague over lunch. When a JMC train comes up, they're the ones nominated to go for the school. Sound like someone you know, or maybe it's you. Whoever it is that came to mind, we want to meet them. Why? We all, we've learned along the way that these JMC superstars make the best client service specialists, and we are looking for passionate part-time client service specialists. Apply today by submitting your resume and cover letter to hr at jmcinc.com. Another great way to stay up to date in all things JMC is through our social media presence. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn at online JMC or our blog, jmcinc.com slash news, or also subscribe to our YouTube channel. So every time we put a new video out, which is a couple times a week, usually, um, you'll get a notification. All right, on behalf of myself and Jody, thank you for your time today. Thank you for JMC. We hope we see you at our summer conferences next summer of 2024.